Hi everybody, uh, today is my 60th birthday. So I decided I wanted to come to something older than I am, make me feel a little better. So uh, here we are at the Grand Canyon. A little bit of fun with math for, for, for those of you out there interested on how you lie with numbers and statistics. Uh, the Grand Canyon's about six million years old. If I'd come here in 1965, when I was six years old, the canyon would have been one million times older than me. But now that I come when I'm 60, the canyon is only 100,000 times older than me, which means I've aged 900,000 years since 1959. I don't feel a day over 400,000. Now when you get off the tram here, you want to look into the Grand Canyon, but unfortunately you can't do that. And the reason you can't do that is because of the uh, gentleman you may see back there with the, um, with the orange vest. My government is here to make sure that I am not able to look into the Grand Canyon. I can look at part of the Grand Canyon, but I can't look down into the Grand Canyon. Now I can look into the Grand Canyon if I go on the skywalk. And well, the problem is, is that you can't take your camera out there on the uh, skywalk. Now, I have absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. It's an engineering marvel. It costs millions and millions of dollars to build. It's private property. And they're certainly entitled to all the photographic revenue uh, that comes off of the skywalk. But I am a little upset about the fact that I can't get a picture of the Grand Canyon uh, because, uh, because I'm being protected from the Grand Canyon. I can't see the bottom. I can't even see close to the bottom from where I'm standing. And if I stand any closer to see the bottom, I will be hauled away. At what point did this country become the kind of place where you could no longer look into the Grand Canyon? Did it happen in the 70s? Was it the 90s? I don't know. I know if I'd come here when I was six, 900,000 years ago, uh, I'm pretty sure I could have stood at the edge of the Grand Canyon in 1965. Uh, and if I'd fallen in, then they would have said, hey kid, you, maybe you shouldn't have gotten so close to the edge. Strange, isn't it? Strange and kind of sad. When I was a kid, everybody got treated like adults. And now that I'm an adult, everybody gets treated like children. Still, six million years ain't hey, you know, it's a long time. And for a very, very brief fragment of that time, I don't know if you can see him back there, there's a helicopter flying through the canyon. A uh, bunch of primates were ever to drop off of trees, walk around the entire planet, uh, figure out how to build gas turbine powered helicopters and see the Grand Canyon the way that uh, no one's ever really seen it before. It is just, just, just barely possible that making a recording of the Grand Canyon on digital format it's just barely conceivable, at least in theory, that this recording could outlast the Grand Canyon. This recording could outlast the Earth. So if this message does manage to survive into the future, uh, hello on uh, Distant Worlds back from uh, 2019. And if it's discovered by some creatures 50 million years from now, all I really would like to say to future inhabitants of this spot or visitors to this spot is um, that uh, I for one welcome our insect overlords and like to remind them that as a trusted media personality I could be useful in rounding up other human degenerates to uh, help serve in their underground sugar caves.